If you've got a hangover from our recent stories about the wine and beer industries, think about where you go to get your burger, because it may come with a side of sexual harassment. I'm Erica Domingo, and this is the Toxic Workplace Report, so let's dive right in. In recent months, we brought you stories of the wine and craft beer industries facing their own Me Too movements. Now, restaurant workers are coming forward with their own tales of workplace discrimination, harassment, and abuse. Our first entree was sampled by millions across the country. Last week, Bravo crowned its new top chef, Gabe Arales. But the finale brought attention to the circumstances surrounding Arales' termination from his job back in December, just two months after Bravo finished filming the show. The former executive chef of Comedor in Austin was terminated for allegedly violating the restaurant's policy against harassment of women. Arales alleges that it was a consensual relationship and that the woman's hours were cut due to her performance. Top Chef host Padma Lakshmi, who has faced sexual harassment herself, encouraged the network to conduct an investigation, although she later clarified that none of the allegations against Arales relate to the filming of Top Chef. Our next entree is somewhat of a regional delicacy, hailing from the strip of New York known as Long Island. The Colony Diner is facing a new lawsuit from the EEOC alleging that its two male owners engaged in numerous forms of harassment of female employees, including unwanted touching, sexual remarks, and instructing them to wear tight and revealing clothing to work. As a side order, the lawsuit also alleges that male and female employees were held to different standards, with female employees being referred to as lazy and male employees referred to as more reliable. And for extra seasoning, the lawsuit contends that female employees who spoke up and objected to harassment in the workplace were relegated to worse shifts and less lucrative parts of the restaurant where their tips would be reduced. Our next option is an award-winning coastal restaurateur who is now facing allegations of sexual misconduct by 15 women. Chef Eduardo Jordan, whose two Seattle-based restaurants have received national praise, is now making headlines for a different reason, namely that women who have worked for or with him over the past decade are coming forward with tales of his sexual harassment and unwanted touching. Our final entree is a true fine dining experience. A former line cook at Spago, the flagship eatery of the Wolfgang Puck Fine Dining Group, has filed a lawsuit alleging harassment and constructive discharge. Kevin Peralta alleges that he was regularly picked on in Hayes due to his Guatemalan heritage, and that after he requested paternity leave in 2019, the workplace became so hostile and intolerable that he had no choice but to leave. Well, after running through that menu, I'm not sure I want to know what's for dessert. So I'm going to dine and dash. Thanks for watching this week's TWR. Let us know in the comments below where you think the safest place is to dine out. And make sure you're following us so you can catch the next episode. I'm Erica Domingo doing the Toxic Workplace Report by myself because Norman's phoning it in today.